Hi, this is Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's real estate tip. With us is Nick Ludwig with Dolliff Insurance. How are you doing, Nick? Really good. How are you, Scott? I'm doing awesome. Today, we're going to talk about insurance and specifically homeowners insurance or condo townhouse insurance, a common interest community here in Minnesota. And Nick, tell us a little bit about what kind of policy uh, someone's going to need to get when they buy into a condo or a townhouse. Right. So there's two different kinds of policies. and depends if you're talking about the policy for the association, for the uh, for the, the condo building or buildings, or it could even be townhomes, several buildings, or if you're talking about the insurance for the individual unit owner. There's two different types of insurance. Okay. Uh, let's talk about the individual unit owner first. Okay? Sure. And then we'll go to the other one, and we're going to talk about the differences because we get a lot of questions about that. Sure. And, and, and it is, uh, condo insurance is uh, somewhat confusing. I mean, you're, you're looking at a, sort of this, this structure that really is, you're, you're kind of together, right? You're, it's a kind of a cooperative, yet there is individual responsibilities. And so it's a, it is a little trickier. So let me see if I can make it uh, uh, simple. Simple, right? simplify. simplify. <laughs> so just like if you own a home, you buy a homeowner's policy, or if you're a tenant, you might buy insurance for your property inside an apartment. So condo unit policies or individual unit owner policies combine aspects of both of those, right? And here's why. Because when you buy a, a condo unit, you actually own that, that little pit, bit or piece of the building or townhouse or right. whatever it is, right? So you actually have a, an ownership in part of that building. So you would need, very typically, you'll need some property coverage for that building. Even if the association is covering the overall building, you may be responsible for any improvements from the walls in, right? Any additions that you add to that individual unit. And so you need some property coverage, some really like building coverage, even though you might say, well, I don't really own the building. The building is the association's problem. And it is, although there's a, a line that's right. drawn in, in between there where you have some responsibility. And of course, if you have an individual unit, you're going to have your personal property, your clothing, your furniture, just like any other uh, property. And there's a couple more little uh, tricks, and they're, they're, they have to do with assessments okay. that the association might make to that individual unit order in case of a loss, right? So there's two important special coverages. One is the association, so they have a, a huge loss. They have a big loss. And they have their own insurance, but guess what? It doesn't cover any, everything, right? Mm. And so what do they do? They assess the individual unit owners. Mm. They say, well, you know what? I'm sorry, but we're all in this together. You're going to have to pay a little bit more. And they may put some cash. They didn't on have it. enough coverage on the, the their policy, perhaps. They didn't have enough coverage, right? Coverage. Or they they there was a loss that wasn't either totally not covered by insurance or only partially covered by insurance. There's lots of different circumstances where they might assess, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's also they have deductibles as well. And so they may assess to each individual unit order their portion or their piece of the common deductible, right? Which is the second uh, assessment coverage. So what we typically recommend, we say, look at Look at your bylaws, look at your association agreement, find out how much they can assess you and for what. And, and, and in a, is it for uncovered loss or what kind of circumstances might it be? And then also, what is their deductible on their policy and, and can they assess you for that? Right. And then what we do is that we design that unit owner policy so that it actually gives you some coverage for both just general assessments as well as deductible assessments. Now again, you have to be a covered loss. Either if they assess you just because they're putting in a new heating system, that's not going to be covered. That's but not if it's insured, a, right. assured, right? But right, but if it's a loss that you would normally be normally be covered, and now they're assessing you for that loss, yes, that can be covered. Okay, wow, <laughs> not simple, right? That's yeah, a little bit, little bit more complicated. So, what, do you look at those policies sometimes? Like, say, so, so they have the master policy for the association. Uh, and you're issuing a policy, do you typically have to look at the, the bylaws and, and declarations? You know, I, and I always recommend it. In fact, I just had one the other day, and I said, look it, dig up. I know it's a pain in the ass, but really find your 
find your declarations and your documents. And of course, they all usually get them when you when you buy the property and then you don't look at them. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's pretty rare. It's right. Like what documents? Yeah. Yes, exactly. But I but it's a good idea to look at those and maybe even talk to your board or some or whoever's managing the condo and say, what do you know about this? Because yeah, because it's not that hard to design the coverage to fit. Right. But if you don't do that, sometimes and and. And what we're finding, of course, is that particularly bigger condos or in different parts of the country, you look at Florida uh, condos, guess what? Their deductibles are not just $1,000. Their deductibles are $50,000 or more, right? Wow. Because they just have to, given the where they are in the country. And even in Minnesota, you'll see uh, condos that are carrying big deductibles. The association is carrying a big deductible. And sometimes it's shocking to people how big those deductibles are. And guess what? They can assess you your your piece of the action. Or if the loss happens in your right around your own your unit, you could conceivably be responsible for the entire deductible. Wow. Isn't that something? Really? Yeah. Like your unit. Yes. Oh wow. Yes. Yikes. All right. Well, uh, wow. I mean, it's this is is. I will say it's a little bit fascinating because you, know, you want to oversimplify because typically these policies that people get aren't incredibly expensive, right? I mean, we're talking no. about $20, 30 $40 a month at right. the most, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, again, sometimes, you know, you get a fancy condo. Maybe you're paying uh, three or $400 a year, but it's still very small premiums, right? Right. But the coverage is actually really important. But you absolutely need to have one, in my opinion, because you know, I've, I've seen it where people didn't, you know, they, they paid cash and they didn't realize because right. typically a lender will require that you carry insurance and show proof at closing. But you know, if someone pays cash, they may not get the policy thinking, oh, right. they're covered. And then you have a, a loss, which is, you know, a lot of times it's water, it's floods, roofs, uh, refrigerator, water yeah. lines, bursting, exactly. plumbing. You Plumbing know, inside the unit, it's uh, very typical. Fire gets all the press clippings, but right. water is kind of the real enemy, I find, in, a, in most situations. Yeah, a lot of water damage. Yeah. yeah. So, all right, well, great stuff. If somebody wants to learn more, what is the best way to get a hold of you, Nick? Yeah, call me at 952-593-7400 or email me at nludwig, that's N-L-U-D-W-I-G, at Dolliff.com. That's spelled D O L L I F F.com. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nick. Thanks. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. This has uh, been today's real estate tip. If you want to get a hold of us, you can reach us at 612 600 8888, 612 600 8888. Call or text or 24 7 online at verde realestate.com. If you need any further assistance, please let us know. Thank you.